वेलकम बैक गाइस माय नेम इज विवेक और वी के कॉल एस बी के सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लास्ट थ्री सेशंस इन द स्प्रिंग बुट माइक्रो सर्विसेज सो दोज आर पीपल वाचिंग फर्स्ट टाइम दिस वीडियो uh they can not understand but i will just i i, I will uh, one more time i i just shoot out that round okay uh, last session i will revise that what happened what happened in the last session if you new want to learn more about that so you can just check out our youtube channel guys <laughs> itsp you can search on google youtube then you will get it otherwise you can search on google also you will get it so this is this is the last session microservice architecture setups the, the session number 2 and the here i i am i am implemented like uh, which services i am implemented eureka server implemented as a server jipkin server and admin server as a server. and one microservice i have implemented as a client for these servers so this is the continuation part of last those people want to note also so just so in the notes where you can get it in the facebook group in the facebook group you can get the notes like okay and vz video also you can uh, get it send me the request this is the private group in the file section here you can see three microservices are there so here i am prepared preparing uh, at the time of class uh, at the time of uh, teaching to you i am preparing uh, class notes and what are the microservices what is the advantage uh, what is the architecture of this just i am going to explain one more time there you can understand okay so let's start our last session discussions so forget it all these things so here Yeah, just I am going to show you the my uh, architecture of this. Okay. Yes, great. So now up to this, we completed, <clears throat> we implemented. What is that? Okay, we implemented. We implemented uh, admin server. Jipkin server is the one jar file. How we can run? You can. I uh, if you don't know how to run, how to download, please. watch the last video please please go through that last video there i have uh, explained how to download the jipkin server and how to run all these points i have discussed okay so admin server is created one microservices as a microservice register is eureka server is also i have created so the one microservices also i have done okay so now today we are doing one thing client okay implementation how to perform the inter communication so we will develop one microservices these are the web app as a microservices i am treating okay there i am going to perform one more application one more microservices today i will develop okay so that <clears throat> microservices can we can send the request by using this okay through this uh, microservices by using fin client we can send that request to that second microservices so there we can call as the inter communication inter communication these microservices so here api gateway is there so later point of time where i will uh, discuss with you okay so let's go into the practical sessions otherwise you can you run the last class uh, what is the last class uh, example okay so here this is our uh, what is that so this is our last class example there we developed uh, servers okay server registry or we can call the eureka server we developed when admin server we developed okay and we have one jars also okay in the public okay microservices jipkin uh, server this jar file you can just open a cmd how to run jar java open jar okay just tab and then then your jipkin server is started it will show here you can see the port number also 49411 it's running on 9411 
just click on this local host here you can see nine four nine four one one the jifkin server is running any query is there no query so let's uh, start our application okay so we need to start our uh, registry server right click okay run as spring boot app okay run. let's see we have here here we mention as a like it's started okay it is started it will show the port number here you can observe this so the port number is local host 8761 this is the eureka server here any uh, application is registered right now no registered so run that our application okay admin server is required right click on that run admin server Okay. Now admin server is the running. If you don't know the ports, also you can cross check. Twenty twenty four. We are. I am just putting. So run that local host. Why we are using these things? Twenty twenty four. Okay. So this is using for that. Uh, how much time for the tracing purpose? Okay, the Jipkin server is used for the tracing your uh, request. Okay, means when the request is coming, how much time it is taking to process the request. Okay, you can monitor here. And Eureka server is a client to register all the microservices at a one place. By using this, you can see that application name, instance of that microservice, how much instance is running, and the microservices name and port number also they are providing. Okay. So now this is that admin server is nothing that is providing uh, one location where all microservices uh, traces are there like health checks all the health check actuators are maintained in the one place not required to maintain in the, as a, a different different microservices so that's uh, easy it's good to us so no need to do just run our microservices before you can see here any microservices are available now just right click run on this microservices okay the spring boot application in the spring boot also you can run here by using just right click it's left on this and hit on the, that button now here you can see the microservices is coming now this is the port number 101 is working so local host let's see 1010. Okay. Let's see, it is not giving it. So, some let me check what is the endpoint is the controller. Okay, hello. So, hello, name like Vivek. Now, so name I am putting hi, Nishu. Welcome, free hub, free learning hub, right. So now this is the last example I have prepared here. You can see that some docs it will show here. No tracing, just click on this. It will show that time. Just click on that. Let's see. Okay, show. Here you can see that time. It will take that 17.91 milli microseconds. It poses the request. And here you can see that which is the request. Okay, address which address the request is coming and the start time is there okay and address of the my, my machines address are there all these things it's showing here is the registered here you can check the health of that health of your application and the health is up okay so logger here why do you can check right now it's info if you just click on debug here you can see it's logs are coming from the div a uh, change data debug so maybe interviewer ask how to change the log without restarting the server you can say by using admin server by using admin server you can change so now let's <clears throat> implement one more microservices okay uh, this is i will develop as a rest api so spring starter okay so follow that steps 
reading API, right? Okay. Okay, Maven. Jar is simultaneous ITSP perfect. Group ID is good. Com dot ITSP is good. Next. <clears throat> Here you can select. Uh, which is microservices is required one microservices here we need a one thing client right to communicate with that <clears throat> microservices so we need a one thing client okay so um, the web is required right eureka server not required discovery client is required and chipkin is required spring boot centric <clears throat> admin client is required okay and chipkin dub tool is required yeah here you can see thing client thing client previously is not there but right now it's there okay so now just i'm taking a screenshot for you let me okay take it for you this is that important <clears throat> pink light okay open pin this is the important so just select this <clears throat> and click on next and finish if any required dependencies there then let's see what uh, the jeep is uh, okay okay perfect let's see now project is a building so talk to this so go and <clears throat> what is that create project for creating api creating for creating api okay so not creating uh, for inter inter communication. That's right. So just paste this. <coughs> Perfect. First steps you can select. Now here you can see where we get the microservices. Okay. So now. Uh, let me check here is any registered only one is showing okay right now i want to register this microservices with that tower so what we need to do just right click and enable what is that enable discovery class that's it and uh, i need to configure the port just uh, how to change the, your properties file or the biomal just convert properties to biomal here you can okay just click on okay okay uh, select this perfect it's creating api application name and a spring okay. server bar dot bar dot port not reflecting so I'm not a big deal. But dot port. Okay. And I need to it's running one zero one zero, right? I need to run one zero. So now let's run this. Otherwise, you can click on this, select this here. And let's So I need to stop the debug level in whole level. It's so good. Now it's a journey. Let's see. Mm -hmm.
Don't worry, don't worry. Say hello, is there? Is it running or not? Hmm. It's running on which port? One zero one. It's registered or not? Let me check. Uh, go Eureka and see here. Here you can get it like that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, after that, I will put all these things, okay, in the note section. So, up to this, it's completed. Our, register, our microservices is registered. So, just I need to create one package, like form.controller, okay, controller. Here, I am simply, okay, simple, create one class. class. Greeting message. Okay. No message is required here. Just rest controller. I know it. Rest controller. Controller. Okay. Inside the rest controller, I need one method. Public string. I need a greeting. Greet user. Greet user. Uh, otherwise, you can pass a name, but I will not find the name here. I'm just returning. What is that name? Hi. Putting a name also. Google. At the red path variable. Path variable. What is that? Okay. Name. I think the name or the string perfect. Hi, our name okay, like that. Hey, how are you? Right. User can ask so this passage is so to the table object. So for that we need a one <coughs> mapping, get mapping. For that get mapping, get mapping and slash like greet slash within the curly uh, braces we put at the name. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, uh, the, see, hello, my BPI is also putting a name, but here I'm not uh, that web app, it's uh, simply REST API. Okay, so by using browser, you can access, or by using Postman, also you can access. You now let's using browser, it's up. Say hello is done, uh, okay. Let's see that uh, go inside the application section here not then so i need to register this is also so first i need to access okay local host what is that um one zero one one slash greet and name like vivek okay hey how are you vivek right that we are getting that okay we are getting now we are getting so now let's uh register with that uh, which thing is <clears throat> here you can see that uh, like that find the traces run that query here you can see hello app actuator which we are getting okay not all uh, so go and application here you can just <clears throat> mention at the rate <clears throat> enable admin admin the admin server, right? Admin. Okay. Let me check which annotation I have used for this. Okay, enable discovery. Not this. 
controller perfect. It's a registered API is good. The tool perfectly. All these things are. Admin server, run refresh the admin server, refresh, refresh, web only is there. Okay. Because we need to do something. Yes. There, web app, admin server, let me check we added or not. Admin, let's start a client is added. Okay. So I need uh, some configuration here inside this. So admin server. What is that? Uh, management. Mm -hmm. So we need some properties like uh, resource properties. There you can here you can see that a Spring Boot admin server like that you can register with that uh, micro microservices, right? Okay. And expose all the endpoint for that. Okay, so just go inside that. Okay, a Spring Boot. Inside the Spring Boot, come here. A Spring Boot, and what's that? I check. Let me check. Boot dot uh, demand boot dot admin dot client mm. admin dot client dot client dot path not url dot url right we have a url client dot url right client dot so admin dot url okay not a health not the client dot url okay inside the url it just use <clears throat> what is that Here you can use this or just pasting this and what is that uh, <clears throat> running port we are running? Our uh, uh, microservices port is uh, our admin server running port is this. Save it now. Let's see. Registered or not? Okay, now it's up. Let's see. Now you can see that your grating API is also there. Okay, now I want to expose all the points for actuators. Okay, so management. Management. Okay. So what is that endpoint we are mentioning here? Management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include. So just paste it and include this in. <clears throat> now, now just I am hitting. <clears throat> just now I am hitting this URL. You can look at into this Jipkin server here. You can see. Is there any query greeting API? This is getting only one request I have added. Okay, now again I am waiting another time. Let's see what happened. Let's require the query. Here is not getting Ashu my further name. Okay, now let's see. Is there I'll check is perfect? Here you can see. Everything is good. Logger masses and info and inside that actuators. 
Oi? Não sei, hello, é perfectly. Traces. Now here you can see we are getting traces. It's hit it. It's actually three. These uh, my endpoint is actuators. Okay, these are the thing. These actuators like that. Okay, so now I think you got the clarity about this. So now right now we have how much microservices? Two microservices with the configuration, right? So I need to communicate this microservice. I need to communicate, send a request for using this microservices for microservices to hello microservices with that appended data. Okay. So what we what I am trying to say, guys? So I'm just <clears throat> suppose we have a, right now two microservices. I'm just sending request to this microservices. Okay, microservices to like uh, greeting API. Then this microservices, it's a, this microservices call to this microservices internally by using fin client. Let's see how we can do this. Okay. And after this, how to perform the load balancer. Also, I will show you. Okay. In this session. But then the next part. So let's so by using fin client, we need to. This is that uh, like by using uh first, what is the fin client? Why we are using fin client? Fin client is not going to take a URL of that microservices. That's why we the, the more useful the Eureka registry is there. So the fin client take a URL from the Eureka registry. Like name of that microservices. It is not taking a URL of that microservices. Okay. It will take a microservice URL and send to that particular server. Okay. By round robbing fashion, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Okay. So greeting is great. Greeting is working perfectly. So uh, what I am trying to say, what I am explaining. So fin client and rest template and web client is required a hard URL. Like if you have a microservices running on, like this is that our microservices. Okay. This is my our microservices. Say hello. So you can pass the hard coded URL on that particular thing. But in that uh, fin client, fin client is not required to pass it. Just it's the interface provided and its implementation provided by. Who is the provider? Provided by that uh, mm. provided by Spring Cloud. Here you just mention what is that Fin client? Okay, Fin client, right? So uh, enable. Right, that enable fin client enable yeah this annotation is required in the starter class okay so now it's good so now we create one package <coughs> one interface okay with that package like fin client fin okay that's good and uh, name of that Pin client, pin client, API. Okay, no, just perfectly, and it's providing just taking it one annotation, pin client, pin client, and here you can pass the name of that your microservices. Okay, so I need to communicate this mic with which microservices. And the hello microservices so go into the Eureka registry, pass as it is like that. So I need to this microservices, microservices, control C and just paste it right. So I need to call this microservices by using this 
<clears throat> okay so we just uh, declare a method public string okay invoke invoke or like call another other ms my ms method okay so now what is the method required path path variable is required na in that uh, path variable i will show you the name okay string name perfect close this declaration is clear here you can see that same endpoint we required path with the name hello name is same you can pass then then this pink client is able to call that so here just what is that uh, for the get mapping get mapping okay no not required here no no not required just yes, that's it think so it's enough to us why well, it's so now just put it that end point get mapping same end point you need to put it hello slash hello slash the curly braces name is required just pass the name that's it okay and inside this <coughs> greeting message inside the greeting message okay the greeting message just i need to auto word private inject that uh, dependent object inside that target class so in private what is that thing client thing client thing client api thing client api right thing client api thing client api right what is the so just auto wired this annotation. So wired perfectly. So now I need to call that method which is having string data. So a string, take it one a string. What is that? A string yes equals to or like math is equals to okay, thing client, thing client. Think client, think client dot call another message, pass that name as the name. That's it, pass the name. Okay, save it and name. So here it's uh, not required, I need to name. Okay, also I need to concatenate this dot concatenate of message, right? So now control layers, right? Now it's ref it should be refreshed. Now go and check this upper. Okay, now it's up. All the microservices is running. Okay, so now I am going to hit which microservices. So now I am going to hit a uh, greet message API, right? We will get the output from which see hello web API. So go and get just pass the name of Rahul. Rahul. Right, let's see here. You can say this is message coming from where this is message is coming from your uh, greeting API, but this message is coming for your external, like in another microservices. Right, so now you can understand easily. So, this is uh, happening inside that uh, microservices. Right, you so know, we are calling this. Which microservices we are rating this? 
uh, get mapping greet user method we are hitting then greet method use user user method by using fin client uh, call that method call this method okay call this method by using uh, identify name of that microservices then its request goes to here its request goes to <coughs> registry inside the registry he think client it check is there any match it is there inside the list inside the list if any matched is there in the application name okay if match is success then it will communicate with that name only with that name of the particular port okay so this is all about that okay so next session up to the next session i will how to run the multi instance microservices single microservices in the different different ports okay uh, tomorrow i will uh, like next session i will teach you how to do this okay and how to perform the load balancer also in the client side and server side but we are doing in the client side okay because think client is performing load balancer as a client side not a server side so server side load balancer in that okay inside that having the load balancer responsibility but in the thing client it's only the responsible to uh, transfer the redirect the request to the particular different different servers so there so up to this is completed guys so now just i'm just giving one more time to you uh for your reference purpose so now we created one thing client to my interface by using uh think at the red thing client annotation passing the name of that microservices okay and uh, override that method <clears throat> not override okay pass that method and inside that uh, with that same argument and with that endpoint which you want to method to communicate with that particular microservices and uh, then just come here and call that microservices with the name okay and just in the application properties by ml file you can mention like that okay i will share this code one by one okay so up to this is completed guys how much we get it how much we completed now this registry is completed admin server is completed zipkin is completed and app is completed second microservices and round robin is complete uh, think client is completed now 60 now the 60 50 percent we are completed okay so now but when load balancer functionality is remaining so i will take a next session for that okay so up to this is completed just i'm preparing a notes for you guys so i need to close all this microservice application here you just enable the thing client okay don't I see and here i need to do some hands-on okay Perfect. So this is the client class we have. Okay. So now this is another class we need to do. After that, okay. I need to pass the structure also, right? So wait, first I'll put in the structure for you. So then put in the message this is the okay copy here okay i need to paste it okay this is the simple class <coughs> my health is not good but i am still recording the video for you 
Okay, so just paste it here. Let me test this. Okay. There's a controller loss. Now next is pink client class. Yeah. Step by step I am giving. Okay. This time not writing as steps, guys. Okay, it's a simple thing we do. What happened with this? Okay, now here. Perfectly. So now next is by one file is there. Okay, and there. System God Hunt. Why it's doing, man? <laughs> okay. Perfect. So now these are things we have done today's sessions, like communicating with each other. So I need to pause the URL also, if you want, okay, a screenshot for this, so that you can understand easily, okay. So my cursor is this, this is the end point to different, copy that, and this, and I need to add some. Okay, perfect. So, this one, and you can, if you hit it, here you can get it, that you hit only which microservice is grating away, but it is hitting internally, say hello, right? If you want to see, let's see clear all here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just I need two one more time with that ITSP. Okay, this is enter last go inside the Jupyter server. Here you can see I have just few seconds have had it hit it like greeting API waiting get actual requirement. Is it internally it is that okay? Another microservices so not required to this. This one also I need to okay. Mm -hmm. This is one microservices, then it another microservice. Sponsor data perfect and Eureka by it board. Then registered with this and paste it. Now I think you got clarity about this, crystal clear about this. So we today we completed created one mic another microservices we completed implemented client is communication is completed. So today's this 
Our topic is completed. Next topic, we are going to start load balancing. How to perform the load balancing? So very, very important. Next. And I will upload these notes in that our Facebook group. So you can click it. So thank you. We will meet next session.